we need to talk about the twin flame psychic connection because I've been reading the comments from so many of you beautiful souls out there listening and much of what you are experiencing and sharing in your comments is a certain sign or symptom of a form of psychic communication with your twin flame. However, the tricky thing about the twin flame psychic bond is we so often mislabel it or misunderstand it. We don't even realize that what we're experiencing isn't just random or coincidental, but actually a sign of our twin flame psychic connection. So if you've been having any strange experiences regarding your twin flame that seem nearly unexplainable, keep listening because in this podcast, I'm going to share with you 10 different signs of a twin flame psychic connection, some of which might really surprise you. But first I want to talk about what the twin flame psychic bond truly is, how it truly occurs. Because so many people think of being psychic with your twin flame as having to do with literally reading their exact thoughts. This isn't really how it works. Although it's possible for you to receive telepathy from your twin flame in the form of exact thoughts, this is only one symptom of the twin flame psychic connection. The true nature of this psychic bond is energetic. Specifically, it occurs in all seven chakras of our energy body through which we are constantly exchanging energy, information, and emotions with our twin flame 24-7. So once we receive this energy through our energy body, through one of the seven chakras, we then interpret it sometimes in the form of thoughts, sometimes in the form of emotions, or in any way that I'm actually about to share with you in this video. But predominantly, this psychic bond doesn't exist between the minds, but exists between the hearts. Twin flames have often been illustrated as having a silver cord running from the heart of one twin flame to the heart of the other. And what we need to understand is through this silver cord, we aren't just magnetically pulled together, although that is true. That's only one element of this cord. We are also using this as a medium of communication because twin flames are usually energetically communicating through emotions, which we process through the heart center which is again why we so profoundly experience these strange heart signs and symptoms and what we call the heart opening or heart chakra awakening. This is all because our twin flame literally on an energetic level breaks our heart wide open and we do the same to them. So I'm saying all of this because If you truly want to deepen your connection with your twin flame, the first thing you need to understand is all of these signs of a psychic bond exist because of the ways that you are transferring energy with your twin flame, which you can't help but do. You and your twin flame are identical soul frequencies in two separate physical bodies, and as such, you are always on this same wavelength, always transferring emotion, energies, experiences between one another. The problem is so many of us and so many of our twin flame counterparts are repressing some of this energy because we all have certain blockages within our seven chakras, within our seven energy centers of the body. It's only natural because we are raised in a broken society, a society that doesn't teach us unconditional love, either for ourselves or for others. So we build up these walls to protect ourselves, these metaphorical energy walls within our seven chakras that are sometimes called blockages. But truly, when we talk about this energy body, these seven chakras, we are simultaneously talking about the subconscious mind because it is the subconscious mind that reflects in our energy field. 
these are the 95% of our thoughts that are completely unconscious, sometimes called the shadow self because they are the parts of our self that are unconscious, that are outside the light of our own consciousness and therefore in these so-called shadows. This is the key not only to clearing our energy field in order to deepen our twin flame connection, but in order to step into the highest potential version of ourselves to manifest effortlessly, not just within our connection, but in all areas of our life. And this is why I am so passionate about subliminal affirmation tracks because subliminals are designed to bypass the conscious filter of the mind and make a deep lasting impressions on the subconscious and the way they do this is because they are positive affirmations but unlike spoken affirmations these affirmations are embedded within other sounds and frequencies and the result of this is that the conscious mind can't hear them which means it can't reject them and because it can't reject them they are more immediately and instantaneously and deeply impressed on that subconscious mind which again is truly where those deep levels of our energy our energy body these seven chakras are stored and where they become blocked so what you are looking at now is a screen recording of my website sound and soulful where i have created a library of over 100 subliminals for all areas of life this screen recording is just showing you how to navigate my website as well as some of the categories of subliminals i have available I have subliminals for appearance changes, for body changes, for manifesting specific things like a dream job, a dream house, even a specific person. I have subliminals for confidence, happiness, energy work. But specifically, if you are a twin flame, I highly recommend my seven chakra twin flame clearing subliminal. This subliminal is designed to clear away and uproot any energetic blockages within the seven chakras, which again are what prevent the deepening of this magnetic bond with our twin flame and ultimately prevent this full expression of our harmonious twin flame union. You can access this twin flame subliminal as well as every subliminal in my library completely free for seven days when you create a trial account on my website sound and soulful the link to this twin flame chakra clearing subliminal is in the pinned comment under this video as well as in the description box now let's get right into 10 signs you are experiencing a twin flame psychic connection the first sign is you are experiencing psychic eye contact to a degree that you never imagined possible. I have created an entire video dedicated solely to twin flame eye contact symptoms because when it comes to twin flames, it really is the full expression of that old adage that the eyes are the window to the soul. With your twin flame, it's that, but to the extreme. You will be able to easily, instantaneously, even within the first meeting, read everything about your twin flame through their eyes. When you look into your twin flame's eyes, you will see every thought, every emotion as clear as day to you. And it will cause you confusion because you'll be wondering to yourself, are they as easy to read to everyone around them as they are to me? Because you will read them so naturally, so easily, so accurately. And this accuracy will prove itself true because you will read something on their face or in their eyes. And then they may even say it aloud from time to time. So not only are you reading their thoughts through this eye contact, through this psychic eye contact, but you are also receiving this validation of what you are reading because of some of what they are saying. You will also see so much depth of emotion in their eyes and specifically emotion in the form of unconditional love for you. Sorry, I'm starting to get a little bit emotional because I'm thinking about 
how it feels when you're gazing deeply into your twin flame's eyes and you will feel not just not just intellectually we already talked about how you can know their thoughts and emotions but it's much deeper than intellectual it runs to the very core of your soul you will know because you will feel what they are feeling as they are feeling it and when it comes to this unconditional love bond between twin flames when you look into their eyes all of their words could deny it all of their actions could deny it but their eyes will not deny their unconditional love for you it's very hard to describe but there will be a kind of warmth a kind of softness in the way that they look at you and even if they tell you that they don't love you if this is the runner and they may be trying to escape the connection they may be telling you that it's not romantic that it's platonic that they don't care they may even be talking to you about dating other people whatever the case may be but when you look into their eyes there will be no denying the unconditional love that they have for you because it will just radiate through them you will feel seen heard and understood to a degree you have never felt before that nothing has even scratched the surface of before in your twin flames gaze because just as you are reading them you will have this awareness that this eye contact is very psychic in nature and it goes both ways you will know that they are reading you you will know that whenever you share something they are seeing you not for the surface level of what you're saying whether it's a story you're telling or something you're trying to say even if the words don't come out right when you look into their eyes you will know that psychically they are reading your every thought and emotion and understanding you perfectly i often say that in a twin flames presence more so than with anyone else that you could ever encounter in the universe you will feel no need to translate your soul so often we feel the need to guard ourselves to try to shield our true thoughts or intentions because we don't feel safe but with a twin flame maybe despite all of your best efforts to guard yourself to put up those walls they will crumble in your twin flame's gaze because of the psychic nature of that gaze you may feel even as though they are not prying prying sounds too negative of a word but as though they are feeling into everything that you are thinking as if they are through their eyes opening these cabinets of your mind and soul and pulling out all of this within you this is also why so often twin flames will accidentally or supposedly accidentally share more about themselves than they ever meant to share and you will often hear a twin flame say in your presence your counterpart will say i've never said that to anyone out loud before or i never thought i would ever say that to someone or something along those lines to indicate to you that what they are sharing with you is something that they didn't even intend to share with you but because on a soul level they understood this psychic bond especially within the gaze of your eye contact they felt that they were so seen and heard and understood that they actually subconsciously felt safe to let down those walls and to let you into their mind even through the things that they shared with you that really turned into being a very long psychic sign but there is just so much to say about the eye contact bond between twin flames the second sign is equally as powerful but i want to be brief here because i am actually going to do an entire separate video today dedicated solely to twin flame dreams and what it means when you are dreaming about your twin flame all night long which if you'd like to check out that video you can find it on my channel i'm going to probably upload it today as well so let's talk about twin flame psychic dreams another sign of the twin flame psychic connection twin flame dreams will again be like nothing you've ever experienced this is because they aren't just dreams and your soul will know it your intuition will know it even if you aren't necessarily 
very awakened yet or very in tune with your own energetic sensitivity yet. Even if you haven't had many conscious dream experiences like lucid dreams, like astral travel, it doesn't matter because with your twin flame, the dreams will take on a different color and tone and you will have a deep level awareness that what you are experiencing is much more profound than some strange random musing of the mind's imagination. Many of these dreams are actual astral meetings with your twin flame because especially during those times of separation, be it emotional, physical, mental separation, whatever the case may be, during these times, you and your twin flame have so much to say to one another that it's like trying to dam up a river inside you. That's what blocking this kind of open communication is like with twin flames. They just long to open up to each other, to share, to communicate. And again, if they're not doing that physically through their words, so often that is when these more metaphysical psychic signs tend to intensify. So you may find that if there is a lot that you and your twin flame aren't saying in words, you will have dream conversations about these things. Twin flame dreams very often feel as though you've been talking to your twin flame all night long. And those of you who have experienced these dreams will know what I'm talking about. You may not remember the concrete details. You might, but you might not. However, you will remember snippets of the conversation, you will remember that they were there, and above all else, you will remember how the dream made you feel. This is because again, remember, twin flames are predominantly exchanging energy through the heart center, the center of radiating and processing emotions. So you will feel it through your heart when your twin flame is meeting you in the astral world and you're sharing these dream experiences, you may even find that if you talk to your twin flame in person in the physical 3D world, that they can verify that they had these same dream experiences and conversations with you. But even if you have no way of verifying it, you will have this intuitive sense that if you were to ask your twin flame, hey, what did you dream about last night or I had a weird dream about you or something, you intuitively just know that they would remember dreaming about you as well at the very least because again, the ego in this connection always tries to put concrete fact and evidence behind what the soul knows to be true. So your ego may want to be able to verify, did they have the same dream? What does it mean? What does it mean? But your heart knows that these dreams are sacred, that they're divine, and that they're more than plain dreams, that these are astral meetings or some form of communication with your twin flame. And it will simply just feel. It will feel whatever you were meant to feel or experience through these dreams. And above all else, through these dreams, you may find that not only do you psychically communicate things to one another, but that you also heal one another. You experience a deep level healing. And sorry, I paused there because I just feel really guided to say that some of you out there are having the experience of dreaming of your twin flame. And then when you're talking to them, one or both of you either says or thinks, this feels like deja vu. Didn't we have this conversation before? You may even say it out loud. So if you or your twin flame or someone you suspect to be your twin flame has been saying that, pay attention because I feel this message was for you. It was meant to tell you that the reason you feel that odd sense of deja vu within conversations is because either consciously or unconsciously, you and your twin flame have been having these conversations in the astral realm that are then manifesting in the physical world, which is why they so strongly feel like deja vu to you. That was just a side note, but I know someone needs to hear that. So the third sign of a twin flame psychic connection is what I like to call twin flame autofill. It's like on your phone, if you have an iPhone like I do, or even another kind of smartphone, 
when you are texting and it automatically wants to fill in the word that you're going to say next. Twin flames have this in conversation with one another because of this psychic bond. They are capable of knowing what the other is going to say before they say it. And this is one of the strangest and most noticeable signs. You will absolutely notice this in conversation with your twin flame. It may seem coincidental to you the first or second time it happens. Like you may be thinking of saying something and thinking that it was your own thought, but really it was you picking up that thought from your twin flame or simultaneously the same thing can happen on the other side you could be thinking of saying something and then you don't say it fast enough and your twin flame says this now i know that this can happen when you're really close with someone like best friends or you've known each other your whole life but the strange thing with twin flames is this can happen within the first meeting or within the first few weeks of knowing each other as if they have known each other forever because i mean they have on a soul level known each other for eternity the fourth sign of a twin flame psychic connection is knowing when they're lying or being inauthentic and you may even find it kind of humorous because you will know how to read your twin flames so well that when they say something that is out of alignment with what they truly think or feel you will instantly just know it like in a snap and the reason that this is so confusing to twin flames is because sometimes they confuse it with just being intuitive but you'll notice that it's much more than that with your twin flame it goes beyond intuition you may be a highly intuitive person you may be able to generally get a sense of when someone's being dishonest but for your twin flame if they're saying something to you that just is inauthentic or just doesn't sound right it'll almost make you laugh because you just you just know on a very deep core level that that's not what they're truly thinking or feeling it's not just a sensing it's a knowing and that's the difference now again i'm feeling guided to add here that some of you are having the experience of experiencing this when your twin flame is actually telling you that it's not romantic or that they aren't attracted to you or that they aren't interested in you and they say this to you and it hurts your ego but then on a soul level you know it's not true and you know it to the very core of your soul you are accurate in what your intuition is sensing and you can trust your intuition and again i just felt that that may just be for one specific person but someone listening needs to hear that and okay guys so i have 10 signs listed here but i am going to split this into two videos because we are hitting almost 25 minutes so i'm going to share the final sign the fifth sign and then signs six through ten will be uploaded today in a separate part two video that will be linked in the description box so this fifth sign of the twin flame psychic connection is remote touch remote touch is one of the stranger aspects of the twin flame experience this is when you're just minding your own business, maybe laying in bed, or maybe you're actually with your twin flame, but not touching. And you begin to feel sensations, physical, tangible sensations on your body, on your skin, as though your twin flame is touching you. These so-called phantom touches or remote touches are actually your body interpreting energy from your twin flame in the form of either them wanting to touch you in that way, wanting to reach out to you, or even them visualizing that happening. This vision or fantasy in their mind physically about you is then being energetically transmitted to your energy body, picked up, and then translated in the form of physical sensations on your body. So this could come in the form of a tingling sensation or literally feeling as though someone's hand is brushing your arm, reaching for your hand, anything like that. Don't be so quick to write off these sensations, especially because if it is coming from your twin flame, you will intuitively know. You will know in your heart and soul that this is your twin flame communicating with you even if your ego tries to fight that fact you will instantaneously see their face in your mind or think of them and know that the sensation is coming from them 
So guys, thank you so much for joining me today in this podcast. Check out part two of this video in the description box if you're interested in signs six through 10. If I did resonate with you, please subscribe to this channel. Join our community of like-minded, conscious, creative beings here on YouTube. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll talk to you again in the next podcast.